Let's talk about inheritance in terms of access. And to do that, we're going to look at the character 5 class, which is going to be our super class. It's going to have two instance variables, level and name, and it's going to have a constructor, which is going to initialize the two instance variables. Then we're going to have the subclass, LaserMan5, which is going to extend the character 5 class. It's going to have one instance variable called numCharges. And then you can see its constructor is going to take in all the information for both the superclass and the subclass, pass the information up to the superclass, and keep numCharges down in the subclass. And then the subclass is going to have one method called output info, and its sole purpose is to output the subclass's instance variable numCharges. So let's go ahead and write some code that's going to utilize these two classes that we just created and the inherited relationship. So we say laserman5 laser equals new laserman5, and zap is going to be the name, 9 is going to be the level, and 90 is going to be the number of charges. So now that the object is initialized, we're going to output its info, but it's only going to output one piece of information, and that is the number of charges. And it's going to say number of charges is 90. Works great, does just what we expected it to do. Now, let's say that we wanted to add something onto this, and instead of just outputting the num charges, let's output the two instance variables of the superclass. And so we're going to do it using the exact same method we used for the one instance variable of the subclass, num charges. We're just going to say name and level and try to access them this way. And let's see if it works. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work. And it may not be obvious why this is not working, but the reason why it's not working is because of access. When the method output info is invoked and it tries to reach up into the character class to pull down the name and the level, it hits a roadblock. And why does it hit a roadblock? Because name and level are both declared as private. And private access means it's strictly for use inside of the class that it's in. Only members of the character 5 class can access level and name. Any other attempt to access level and name is going to be rebuffed and result in an error as we have on the screen. So is there a solution to this? Well, yeah, instead of using private access, what we could do is we could use public access for use anywhere inside or outside of the class that it's in. So anybody and their brother can access level and name now. So is this going to fix our problem and allow us to output name and level? Well, yes, yes it is, because name and level now have access outside of the class, which is public, and so LaserMan5 can access them and we would get name, zap, level nine, number of charges, 90. But the problem is, is that public is too much access for us because not only can the subclass access the information, so too can any class that's trying to access level and name. And so you can see right here, we're directly accessing level and name from a class that's not even in the super sub relationship that character five and LaserMan five have. And this is a big no-no because it violates encapsulation. Is there a solution to this? Well, yes, we actually have a third type of access that we haven't needed up to this point, but now we can use because we're using inheritance. And that is called protected access. So we have protected int level and protected string name. You could probably guess what it's going to do. It's going to grant access inside of the class that it's in and also any subclasses that want to access it. It erects that barrier, but subclasses can go behind that barrier and access the information. So now it would output as we would want it to. Name is zap, level is 9, number of charges is 90. But if someone wanted to access outside of the class and it wasn't in that super subclass inheritance relationship, it would run into the roadblock and give us an error. And that error would be a good error because we don't want access except for members of the subclass. Is there another way around this instead of saying protected? Well, yes, yes there is. And that is adding getters and setters, or in this case, we're just using accessor methods, which are getter methods. And so you can see down here in the output info, instead of using the names of the instance variables from the superclass, I'm just using methods and I can directly access them. 
and it's going to give me the information just that I want. Zap, level 9, and 90. And that way, I don't have to worry about access in terms of private, protected, or public. I can keep my instance variables private, but yet I can grant access outside of the class by creating getters. And if I want even more access to be granted, I could create setters or mutator methods like set name or set level. So putting it all together, access with inheritance just adds one more level. We're familiar with public access, where everyone can access an instance variable, whether it's inside of the class, outside of the class, etc. Private is strictly for members inside of that class. Anyone outside of the class, even if there is an inherited relationship there, a super and a sub relationship or an is a relationship, it does not grant access to the instance variables. And then finally, the one that this whole video was about is kind of a middle ground. It's not completely public. It's not completely private. It's only for use inside the class that it's in and its children or its subclasses. And that's where protected comes in. And we said, hey, we don't even have to worry about this whole public private protected access thing. We could just use accessor or get methods, mutator or set methods as an alternative way of granting access. You can just grant read access, meaning you could just say, I only want you to be able to see what the variables are and I don't want you to be able to change them. Or you can say, I want you to be able to read them and I want you to be able to change them. Understanding access is important. It's important when planning your different classes to say, do I want all my subclasses to have access to these instance variables? And how much access do I want to grant? Do I want everybody, just the class, or just the children and the class that it's in? Understanding this will go a long way in planning out your classes and in understanding inheritance. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please do click like below. If you like videos like this one, please do subscribe to the channel. Truly, thanks for watching.